Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel to see more upcoming videos. Click on that notification bell to be notified when we do upload a new video, and also like it if you do like this video. For the video, I'm going to be showing you a few different football and basketball themed DIY projects that you can do for gift ideas. For this first gift idea, you can use a tray like this one. I found it at a thrift store, but I'm actually going to be showing you the DIY project that I used using this wooden tray that I brought from Walmart. What I did first was just take a light layer of Mod Podge and brush it onto the bottom of the tray. After that, I'm going to be using this scrapbook piece of paper from Joann's. I trimmed off the edges so that it would fit on the tray, and I'm just going to be setting this on top of the Mod Podge. You're going to want to make sure you smooth out any air bubbles that come up and let this completely dry. Once it's dry, I'm just going to add a good layer of Mod Podge on top. And it's very important to, again, smooth out all those air pockets along the edges. Once that is dried, I'm just going to add a clear layer of sealer on top. And then if you want to, just add a couple of different snacks and candy to the tray. This next idea is super easy for kids. You can just fill these little eggs that I found at Dollar Tree with candy and then also stick it into one of these sports buckets. This next idea isn't a DIY, but I did find this on Amazon. If the person you're giving to likes to cook, it is a apron and also a chef hat to go with it and you can get whatever sports team that you want. For this next DIY project, we made a basketball themed board game and what we did was just paint the board, Mod Podge over it, and then cut out little basketballs and Mod Podge those over the top to make a little board game. And then for the customized game players, we just took these little glass pieces and Mod Podge some more basketballs on top of those so that each player could have their own color for the game. If you're interested in the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, you can leave a comment below and I might do a future video on it. For the next DIY project, I'm using these wooden shaped cutout numbers from Hobby Lobby that were on clearance and I'm just going to be painting over them with a white paint. And then for the edges and in the center, I'm going to be painting it with a black paint. Once that's done, just set it aside to let it dry and we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Next, I'm using this jersey frame that I found from Hobby Lobby and I'm creating a football jersey out of it using these iron-on letters and then the numbers that we painted and then I'm also going to put a iron-on sticker but I haven't decided which one yet. So first I'm just going to be ironing on my letters starting from the center and then working outwards just so I know that it's right in the middle where I want it. After ironing on the name, I'm just going to be ironing on the logo on the bottom and then putting it into the frame. You 
And for an embellished look, I'm just going to be hot gluing my numbers right onto the front of the glass. If you don't want your numbers to pop, you could also substitute this for the iron-on stickers as well and just do it that way. Now you could leave it just like this, but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a sharp look on the corners of the arms, so I just took a couple of white strips of white paper and glued them right onto the glass. You could use a fabric marker if you wanted to do it on the t-shirt as well. But I really like how this project turned out and let me know in the comments what you think of it or which project you like the best. And if you're interested in seeing more future videos like this, please let me know in the comments as well what kind of content you're looking for. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel to see more future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Toodles.